What's going on everyone, Garnet Walters here and today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be sharing an impromptu interview slash piano lesson that I did with a friend of mine, uh, I believe it was last year um, up in Canada. Um, I have to shout out my man Jay for sending me the audio um, for this, it was pretty cool. Um, so I shared a lot of nuggets with him and I wanted to you know, share what I shared with him with you all. Lesson was pretty lengthy, so I'm gonna just split them up into two to three uh, segments. Um, so I'm gonna play the first part of the uh, the interview slash piano lesson in this video. I hope that all the information that I'm sharing with him will be valuable to you as well. If this is your first time checking out the channel, thank you again for taking the time to check it out. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button. And also press the like button if you like the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to type something in the comment section. And if you want to reach me on social media, my social media information will be in the description. So without further ado, here is part one of me sharing some musical nuggets. I'm playing with a 13. So my right hand, I'm just playing. Uh, uh, what do you call it? D, G, and C. And then, in my left hand, I'm playing um, the voicing E flat, G, A e flat, and C. You know? Because the, the thing is, um, it's, it's, there are, no, there are notes in, in the chord that's kind of like, yo, what chord is that? And you're like, oh, I played this. Like, no, 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 that's not it. Right, like right. The, uh, you know? Like, and, like, it's those kind of notes that kind of create a different mood and color. I have the, the melody note, which is B. I have the bass note, which is B. Instead of using a conventional voice like this, I'll just kind of use some notes in there that'll kind of change the feel of it, but the function will still be the same. You know? Right. You know? So in this case, what I did was, I'm gonna, I was gonna end up at a E minor seven in up here, right? But, what I noticed is that um, when I when I play this chord here, I can play. I have G, A, D, and G in common. So, right. So all I'm doing now is just adding the color note, and the color note um, over that B chord would be the F sharp. why he plays with one of my favorite bass players in the world, <laughs> Reggie yeah. Young. This is why. Right? So now... Oh, Kevin Brunson. Hey! <laughs> legendary Kevin Brunson. He's from around here? Or? He's from Chicago. Oh, from Chicago, okay. Milton Brunson's son. Oh, wow. Bru oh, drummer. okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Right? So, now, I take that knowledge, right? <laughs> I take that knowledge there where I have this voice in, and if I have to hit that chord progression, uh, go to that E minor. I can go to. Uh, let's What's see. up, Brady? What's up? I can go to C seven sharp eleven. So I'll play the first progression first, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to play the substitution. So, right, that's the first one. Dude, you know what that sounds like? You remember the Kimberell? Um, Thank you for giving. Oh, the 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 bridge. Oh, yeah. kind of song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that same kind of vibe. So yeah. So that's where that's where I I, I learned about those those chords. Cause right. I'm like, okay, I know it's I know it's yeah, like a, 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 a four. Like I'm like, 
Jesus. I'm just I'm like, okay, I know it's okay. For example, a minor chord, but I'm like, there's something in there there's that's something making else it, that's in there that's making it sound like that. Right. Right.